You are welcome to another video of Yang Bash Network Automation using NetConf, ResConf, and GNMI. In this section, we will review and explore Yang Data Model before using it during the course. Yang Data Model is a hierarchical data model language used by NetConf, ResConf, and GNMI to automate network configuration, maintenance, and troubleshooting. What is Yang Data Model and why we use Yang Data Model? As you know, different vendors of network devices have different command syntax and they are natively not programmable. However, Yang is a data model that represents a different way to configure, monitor, and troubleshoot network devices that is natively programmable. You can think of Yang data model as something like SNMP MIP structure. But in the SNMP, unlike Yang, objects are mostly non-configurable and it is typically used for monitoring purposes. As with SNMP protocol, Yang data model has a standard and also vendor-based data structures. With the standard-based Yang data structure, there is the opportunity that we can configure network devices with different vendors in the same way without having to worry about different command syntax. If you search Yang GitHub on the web, the first output is the link to the Yang repository in GitHub, which contains a collection of Yang data models, including a standard and vendor-based Yang data models. Inside the vendor folder, you can see Yang data models of some Famous vendors like Cisco, Juniper, Huawei, Fujitsu, and Nokia. Inside the Cisco folder, Yang models of different Cisco device type, iOS XE, XR, and NX OS are listed. Inside XE folder, Yang data model of different version of Cisco iOS XE devices are listed. At the time of this video, the latest version of iOS XE Yang data model is 17.9.1, which is listed in the folder with the same name. In this folder, different Yang data model are listed, and Yang data model Cisco iOS XE native. Dot Yang is the most well-known Cisco Yang data model, which we will refer to many times throughout the course. As an example of a standard Yang data model, let's go to the standard folder, then IETF, then RFC, here IETF interfaces. Dot Yang is the most well-known standard Yang data model, which we will cover many times throughout the course. If, if I go to the IETF interfaces, it points to the version 2018. There are two versions of IETF interfaces, Yang data model, 2014 and 2018. 2018 is the latest version of IETF interfaces, Yang data model. If you look at inside IETF interface version 2018, there is a namespace here that is unique name for each Yang data model. There are some metadata information such as organization, contact, description, and revision, which are mainly used for the purpose of documentation. And here there is a folder, there is a container with the name of interfaces, which is like a folder. Inside container is a list of interfaces. The name of the interface is the key and must therefore be unique. For each interface, there is a name with the type of a string, a description, again with the type of a string, type with the type of identity, reference, and it is also a mandatory and enabled of the type of Boolean, which is true or false. 
link up down trap enable of the type of enumeration with the values enables or disables and the admin status parameter again of the type of enumeration with the value of up or down and many many other parameters some for the configuration and some for the monitoring purposes there is also a better way to explore the Yang data model, which is done through PYANG Python library. To explore Yang data model through PYANG tool, we need to clone Yang data model from the GitHub source community to the local repository and also install PYANG Python library. We use git clone command. Erst mal, I have to remove the previous version of yang repository which I've already downloaded and then I use git clone command to copy the yang data model to the local repository the address is https and then copy and then paste to download Yang data model to the local repository and we will also install PYANG Python library with command python3 m pip and install and PYANG which is already installed in my automation machine requirement already satisfied if we look inside the yang folder and then ls you can see the exact structure that we have already seen in github over the web as you can see a standard and the vendor and inside the standard for example itf and RFC and inside the vendor there are many vendors for example Cisco inside the Cisco folders there are many operating system XE XR and NXOS for example inside iOS XE different version of iOS XE is listed the latest version is 17.19.1 and here as you know uh, Cisco iOS XE native is the most famous Yang data model which we will cover during the course. And if we go inside a standard version, a standard and then ITF and then RFC inside the folder. Here we can use the command pyang which we have already installed with option dash f3 the name of the yang data model which we use ietf interfaces dot interfaces dot yang command to explore the yang data model through the pyang the output of the command shows the structure of Yang data model ITF interfaces, which is much easier to read than the web version of Yang data structure. The name of the module ITF interfaces, it has two main sections, interfaces, which is a read-write or uh, for the purpose of the configuration, and also interfaces state which is ro or read only which is used for the monitoring purposes under interfaces and next to the interface is a, a star sign which means a list of interfaces and it is unique based on the name of the interface for each interface there are many leaf parameter like name like description type enable 
link up down trap enable admin status and operational status and many other parameters that we have also explored some of them through the web version of yang data model beside each leaf if it is written rw it means that is configurable and if it is ro it means that is read only and for the monitoring purposes if there is a question mark beside a leaf it means that is optional and if there is nothing for example type here it means it is mandatory the type of each leaf is also written to the right section of the leaf parameter if it is for example a string identity reference boolean enumeration and many other types as we can see it is much easier to explore any yang data model through the pyang python library instead of through the web the next question that may arise how we know which yang data models are supported in our devices to know that first we need to enable SSH in the network device. This is because NetConf use SSH to send RPC commands to the network devices to read or write in the Yang data model. Already SSH is installed and configured in the network device. Also make sure that the device already has an IP address and also a username with privilege 15 to connect to the device just to check show IP interface brief the IP address of the device and also show running config and then include user name as you can see a username breaker with privilege 15 is already configured then we need to enable yang data model in network devices as an example the command netconf yang and netconf yang feature candidate data store are used to enable yang in cisco ios xe device i have already configured just to check include yang so the yang data model is already configured in my network device then we use ssh command to connect to the device using port 830 which is netconf default port and with the dash s option to request the network devices netconf subsystem for example here the ip of the device is 291 and then with dash s and net conf with running the command all supported yang data model by network device is displayed in your screen the password rico-code.com you can see that there are many yang data models supported by this device ios xc device we can use for example grep option to limit the output to a specific yang model for example ietf interfaces and again the password as you can see ietf interfaces yang data model is also supported in our network device so with this method we can make sure which data models or a specific data model is enabled and activated or supported in our network devices or not the other question that can arise is what data model or yang data model is used to configure or monitor a feature in network device to answer or the answer to this question will be demonstrated in the next sections but generally, the idea is that we configure the feature inside the network device through the command, and then we will use netconf to ring yang version of the configuration. The output of the command shows which yang data model or data models 
are used to configure that particular feature. The exact path of the feature inside the Yang data model can also be seen in the output. As I have said earlier, this but will be demonstrated in the next sections. As we will show in the next sections, one way to modify a specific part of the configuration is to take a XML a structure example of that part of the configuration and modify that section to get the XML structure of a specific part of the configuration. Usually we use netconf to connect to the network device to get that a specific configuration section in the XML format. But sometimes it is also possible to get XML structure of a Yang data model without connecting to the device and just through traversing Yang data model locally. This is done through the pyang command and then dash f sample XML skeleton and the name of Yang data model, for example, itf dash interfaces dot yang if we run this command xml structure of a sample xml structure of this yang model will be returned you can use this xml structure to change a part of the configuration and then apply the final xml configuration to the network device to change or modify a part of the configuration which we will see during the course and in the next sections.